NBC Television Network presents... Concentration. And now, here is the star of our show, Hugh Downs. See, we're still in the middle of a game that we started, an international game yesterday that involved prizes from Israel. And our contestants, I see, have their hats, so we'll continue that game to its logical conclusion. We'll see what happens. Let's meet our first two players. We would be the familiar face of a homemaker from Anaheim, California, Mrs. Patricia Broussard. And from Valley Stream, New York, another familiar face, Mr. Walter Jackson. Walt, we ran out of time in our special Israel game yesterday before you were able to solve the puzzle. And uh, we had prizes carried over from a previous game even. So we want to start off by revealing the prizes that each of you have credited. Pat, you had the buffet hutch, plus the 180 pounds. That was the equivalent of about uh, $100 American. The silver and the TWA trip for two to Israel. All of those prizes. Walt, you had even more. You had the camping gear. The home adding machine, the washer and dryer, the home library, and the diamond necklace. Plus, you had, uh, from the Israeli game, you had an olive branch and the fashions. There's his list. There's a different puzzle on the board than what we uh, left off with, for obvious reasons. Let's turn it to the puzzle position. If you think you know what that is from what you see, don't guess until you've made a match. And since we uh, left off, the prizes, of course, are the same, those remaining. Now, since it was Walt's turn, we're going to call on Walt in one minute to resume this game. But right now, we'll have a word from one of our sponsors. That speech of mine tonight, my dentures will give me trouble. Mother got a new denture adhesive, Orifix. Says it's great. Orifix? I'll get some today. Be comfortable. Be confident with the holding power of Orifix. Long-lasting Orifix seals dentures to gums. It's airtight. Watertight. Holes all day. Be comfortable, be confident with the holding power of Orifix. You were great. Orifix, denture adhesive. She lies about her age and her skin swears to it. She uses Alboli, the face cream so rich it turns to beauty oils the instant it touches your skin. Of all leading creams, only Alboline contains no water. Just pure beauty oils to bathe away skin dryness and help smooth away dry skin wrinkles and lines. Alboline makes your skin look smooth, younger at any age. And when you lie about your age, make your skin swear to it with Alboline. All right, we will start with Captain Jackson, or Walt. And, uh, <laughs> two numbers, Walt. Number six. And number eight. You can afford it, and you've got a, a fig leaf. Does not match a forfeit, and the board goes back. It is Pat's turn. Number 15. Number 15. Big date. And number 28. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, that's funny, because I think 28 was where the was where the uh, big date was in the last game, but as we explained, there it wasn't? I don't know, I thought it was. Uh, but they've been changed around anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's Walt's turn. Number eight. Number eight. And number 28. Yeah, I think that does it. Big leaf. Well, big leaf, huh? You can add to your wardrobe or the other side of the board. Look at these two parts of the puzzle. Do you want to make a guess? No, not, not yet. It's early. Still your turn. Two more. Number 12. There's a trip to Israel. There's a wild and card. Number four. Five. Wild card would put one on your side of the board. That is not a wild card, of course. Pat. <laughs> number four. Four. And number 20. Copper crown. It's a good prize if it could be at 20. But is not. Ancient jewelry doesn't match your wall. Number five. No, number five, you call. And number six. And number six. Has he made a deliberate match? And you have to get rid of something. Something from your side of the board has to go, Walt. You have to decide what you want to get rid of. I'll get rid of the olive branch. The olive branch, that makes sense. Goes over to Pat's side. Look at these two puzzle parts for your good prizes in the game. What do you think it says? 
I don't know. Still your turn. Number 11. Delicacies. And number 26. We have a gourmet assortment that... Not a match with the copper graph makes it past turn. And number 26? 26. Can you match it? And number 20. 20 is not a match. Walt, it's now your turn. Number four. And number 26. There we are. The copper trap down on your side. Long list of prizes now, Walt. End this game. If you can look at these two parts of the puzzle and tell us exactly what it says. I don't know. Still your turn. Two more. Number 29. And number 23. Silver object, if that can be. Not a match with a big day that is Pat's turn. Number 11. 11. And number 15. It's somewhere on the board. The 15 may not. No. Oh. Pat Wall. Number 23. Yeah. And? And number 15. There. There we are. The big day, all right, is on your side. Seven good prizes, including that diamond necklace, Walt. Think hard. Look at these two puzzle parts. Maybe now you can tell us exactly what the puzzle says. I don't know. Still your turn. Two more numbers. <coughs> uh, number... No, I'm sorry. I said that can happen if you lose it. Uh, Pat, your turn. Number nine. And number 20. Number 20. Number 20. Okay, he's in it. Thank you. We're on your side of the board. You do it, but you give us heart failure. Look at these two parts of the puzzle, Pat. What do you think it says? No, oh, still your turn, though. Two more. Number 14. Number 14. And you can afford it. Number 29. Well, she just beat that, according to my reckoning. Not a match anyway. The board comes back. It's going to be Walt's turn in just one minute. But right now, we want you to take time out with us, if you will, for this short message. The Rejected Vegetable. A great American tragedy. This is what happens to vegetables that taste blah. Unfortunately, most vegetables are blah. Why? Because between the time a vegetable was fresh and the time you cook it, most of its flavor has gone to sleep. You have to wake up that flavor. Accent makes blah vegetables delectable in just a shake. Accent wakes up flavor. Flavor you'll never taste any other way. Keep your vegetables from sleeping at the dinner table. Accent's telling you how. Sounds indispensable, doesn't it? And it's Walt's turn. Number 25. 25. And number 12. You can afford it. Number 12 is a non-match. It's Pat's turn. Number 11. 11. The delicacies have to be somewhere. And number 14. 14 is not a match. Walt, your turn. Number 29. Yeah. And number 18. And number 18. Not an answer to the Pat's turn. Number 11. And? Number 18. That puts the Israel delicacy on the left side of the board. <laughs> along, with, along with the trip to Israel for two and the championship, if you look at these two puzzle parts, Pat, can you tell us exactly what right. the puzzle says? Right here now. Right here now. Is right. <laughs> Come close to not getting that. Oh. But you started with the correct answer. Right here and now. It's right. Look at the entire board. Did you know Walt? I can't move it. She, it's a, he knew, but not in time. She made the match and made the correct answer. Right 
here, here, and now. Right here and now is when you solve the puzzle, or you did it, and you're the new champion. Well, it was nice having you here. We, uh, that's the way it happens, you know. You win some and you lose some. But you did a good job in a brief re review. He won the birthday present, which is a thousand dollars in a in a lump, and some other cash. A hundred dollar game was among his winnings, and some uh, minor jewelry and a pool table and a uh, golf mobile and some other things to which we want to add uh, American tourist or luggage. And we certainly wish you the best. Thank you very much for playing. Concentration. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Gracious Pat, you're the winner and new champion. Let's go to Bob Clayton and find out exactly what you've won. First of all, Pat, from a previous game, a Colonial Buffet Hutch from the Fireside Collection of the Williams Furniture Corporation of Sumter, South Carolina. Your new hutch is constructed of solid oak, ash, hickory, and pecan woods. And from our special Israeli game, first of all, an olive branch, and then 180 Israeli pounds, that's about $100, and finally, too, the ancient arts of the Yemenites is represented in handmade jewelry. Necklace, ring, and earrings that all feature stones mined from the ancient region of the fabled mines of King Solomon and furnished to concentration by the government of Israel. Plus, for festive occasions, delicacies from Israel, deliciously and attractively packaged chocolates and a superb selection of imported sparkling wines that herald a new industry furnished by the Carmel Wine Company. Also, silver candlesticks and silver chalice, delicately rendered by Israel artisans, designed to be striking accessories to formal table settings. A delicate gift in silver furnished once again by the government of Israel. And in this special time of the year, a trip to Israel and Jerusalem, you'll fly, fly the luxurious Starstream jet DFTWA Trans World Airlines, the airline showing movies in flight on most nonstop transcontinental and transatlantic flights. And for vacation expenses, we're also giving you $500. All of which is yours to keep, uh, no matter what happens in an upcoming game. And if you're ready for that game, we can uh, we'll bring it up right now. You all set? Yeah. Let's meet your new opponent. The homemaker and a resident of Fort Worth, Texas, Mrs. Betty Schoenfeld. You know the airlines to register. Oh, yes. <laughs> we can take a hat back now, unless you want to wear it through this... This, it looks very nice on you, but I mean, since the game is that game is over, we'll do a hapless game now, and you you know how the game's played. Good. I, I hope so. Good. Let's play in concentration. <laughs> the object of it is to solve the puzzle. Betty, if you'll uh, how do you spell your name? B e t t y e, right? Hi. I didn't have the e on my card here, but give us two numbers one at a time. Seven. Seven. Seventeen. Travelers. That's three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. That's a good start. Look at the first two parts of the puzzle. There's a clue if you want to make a guess. Three hundred. I'm in place already. No penalty for wrong, you know. It'll be your turn when we come back, which will be in just one minute. But we have sixty seconds now of a message that has superb advice therein. <laughs> Can you tell us? No. We have no winner. No winner. It has happened before. It happens relatively seldom, but you're right. Audience, do you know what it is? On a full dime basis. That's right. It's on a full dime basis. Look at three and seven. You see, don't match. Now, an important clue was hidden, and that's the, that's the switch that says on, see? On a full dime basis. On a full-time basis is the right answer, and we just didn't happen to have a winner. I'll tell you what we do. We apply the rule that you'll choose three of your prizes. We'll go into a new game in just a moment, but right now we have this word from one of our sponsors. 
Delight your family with a simple meal that's sure to please everyone. Surprise hamburgers, each one filled with a different treat and so easy to prepare. To serve four, use two pounds of chopped chuck, add one half teaspoon of salt, and of course, two tablespoons of A1 sauce. The A1 touch adds so much. Mix well and form into eight flat patties. Now for the surprise fillings. A mixture of grated American cheese, pickle relish, and A1 sauce on this patty. Some cooked crumbled bacon on this one. Thin slices of tomato or onion here. Some baked beans on this one, or any filling you wish. Cover each with another meat patty and seal by pressing the edges together. Broil to your liking, then serve. Surprise hamburgers made with A1 sauce. Remember, in the kitchen and on the table, the A1 touch adds so much. A1 sauce. I don't know. Well, I'm sorry I've got my cable lost up here, but stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment, and we'll get untangled, too. All contestants on concentration receive this American tourister set. Beautiful fiberglass reinforced luggage, fashion approved for its smartness, lightness, and roominess. Thank you, Bob. Here's what they selected. Walt selected the, these three, and Pat selected these three, the best of their prizes, and they're ready to go into a new game. And I think at any moment you might hear a sound in connection with this new game. That is the sound. Uh, Bob Clayton, if you'll explain to us why that bell rang. What that means, you is it's concentration to Israel, a very special game for this significant time of the year. And to set that mood, here is our lovely international hostess, Paula Diva. Paula, thank you very much. Paula brings hats off to our contestants, and we appreciate this. Is there anything on this occasion that you'd like to say to our contestants? Dovine McClick. Dovine McClick, which means you're wishing them luck, isn't it? Yes, that's you're, right. You're away with luck. Yeah. You see, I understand that, that, that sort of thing. And we're, so it makes you uh, the airport there. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah. As a matter of fact, it, you know, this, this is the thing that it, one feels like one is at the airport. Yes, yes. Now, Would you fasten your reason? safety belts, please? We'd like to welcome you aboard TWA's Star Stream Jet. Fasten your belts, please, because this is your captain speaking, and we're ready to take off on Concentration's fantasy flight to Israel. Yes, Israel, the biblical land of milk and honey. Now, we'll be traveling at an altitude of 35,000 feet in our flight to the historic shores of the Mediterranean Sea. There'll be refreshments served, and the first run movie is about to begin. Yes, there's a trip to Israel in our game today. And, and many other fine prizes, and our thanks to you, Paula, for bringing on the, the game and the hats and so forth. Would you care to say goodbye? And uh, I think, could you say goodbye? Yes. Yeah. Shalom. Oh, that, there's the word. And shalom to you. Oh, right. Thank you, Paula. Now... Ready to lurch into this game, and we're going to have a 60 suit message from one of our sponsors. We'll be right back and at it. Sweetheart, you know that nice little old hand lotion, the one that was invented in 1910? Well, honey, in 1910, nobody'd ever heard of a detergent. Now, it's detergent water as hands three times a day. It just kills us. It makes us ugly. Honey, what we want is this. Aquin's brand new lotion for extra dry skin. It's made for us hands of the detergent generation. 
so-called fitch and the rich Patkinses. It's so concentrated, full of all those new healing and moisturizing things, and things to make us smooth and pretty. Oh, you great, big, beautiful bottle of you. I'd like a little tea and, uh, no, no. I keep thinking she's a stewardess, you know, it's true. Now, we're ready to go into this game now, and I know you both know how it's played, so we'll just ask Walt to call the first two numbers and see where we go. Number 15. Number 15. And number one. We'll explain that if you rack it up, and that is not up there as the trip to Israel, but it doesn't match, of course, Pat. See if you can find it. Number 24. 24. And number seven. I figured that out. That's silver objects. 180 pounds is about $100. Doesn't match, of course. Walt? Number 13. 13. But all it's been in 12. No, I see if that... They, um... They go together, but they don't match. All right, Mr. <laughs> Pat? Number 28. 28. Big date. And number 15. Copper draft, not a match. Wall, number 30. And number 21. And 21 is, no, the Israeli fashions are fine, but not matching in his patch tree. Number 16. 16. Oh, Automatic match. And number one is, you <laughs> All right, Pat, look at these first two puzzle parts. If you can do it, most oh. well. Hey, make a guess, because if you do it, you'll make headlines. It ne never happened. It's never happened in eight years, but it, it will one of these days. Still your turn. Number five. Five. Oh. Another wild card, and you can commute. <laughs> and number 26. Could be. Wouldn't it be funny if it was? Not a match, though. The board goes back. Walk. Number 11. 11. And number 19. The silver craft, if that matches. No, 180 pounds does not match a pad. Number 7. 7. And, and number 19. 19 puts $100 worth of pounds on your side of the board. And these two puzzle parts into you, Pat, with some clues in case you want to make a guess. No. It's early. Two more. Number three. Three. And number 24. What are you going after? All right, the silver object on your side of the board. Now you've got a good list of prizes, Pat. Look at these two puzzle parts and tell us, if you can, what it says. No. no. Well, it'll be your turn when we come back. But that'll be in, in one minute. We want to take this minute out for this message with good advice in it. Watch. Hour after hour, when time seems to stretch and you can't sleep, can't sleep, can't sleep, because nagging backache, night backache keeps you awake. Remember, there is something that may help. That's Doan's Pills. Doan's pain relieving action often helps relieve backache, which may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pills pain relieving action is often the answer. So don't wait. See if Doan's pills don't bring relief and welcome relief at night. Also, when dietary indiscretions cause mild bladder irritation with that restless, uneasy feeling, Dones work two ways. One, a soothing effect on such irritation. Two, a mild diuretic action through the kidneys. For such discomforts, Dones often bring welcome relief. Get Dones pills. For convenience, buy Dones large size. Pat, it's your turn. Number 10. 10. <coughs> And number 22. Oh, Matt! Well, it's going to cost you something. See, what would you, that's a hard choice. You've got all good prices there. What would you give up? The library. The library, all right. That's a, all of your prizes are good. Walt, and here it's a good prize. For your remaining good prizes, including the diamond necklace, look at these two parts of the puzzle, Pat. What do you think it says? 
okay. It's still early. Two more numbers. Number 13. 13. The olive branch. And number 28. Match it. The big date doesn't match and it's walk turn. Number 27. 27. And number 13. And 13. The olive branch is now on your side of the board. Protecting some good prizes, Walt, and these two puzzle parts now in the view for this game. What do you think it says? I don't know. I don't either. Still your turn. Number two. And, and number 21. 21 is a match. We are very fast as on your side of the board. These two parts of the puzzle now in the view. You want to guess? No. Still your turn. Number four. Four. And number 17. Not a match. Your prize list is safe anyway. Pat. Number six. Six. Can you match that? And number 30. 30. Ancient jewelry has not been... No, not a match. The ball comes back. It's Walt's turn. Number... 17. And number 30. I can't look. It is a match. Your choice. Hey, there's a choice. Now, what would you like? If you have any questions about anything, we'll try to answer them. What would you think you would... Uh... Well, did you say necklace? Yes, I did. Oh, all right. The necklace now comes to Walt's side of the board. Look at these two parts of the puzzle. Walt, for the championship, what do you think it says? Still your turn. Number. I can't believe it. Our time is up. It doesn't seem possible. I'll explain more fully in just a moment. We have this message from a sponsor. We'll be right back. This is the inside of an oven, much like your oven. It takes a lot of punishment. Food gets baked on, almost impossible to get off. But there's something right in your own oven that can help it to come clean. Heat. Yes, the heat of your oven. And all you Dow Oven Cleaner attack the black crust that heat baked on. When you're ready to clean your oven, simply preheat to 200 degrees. Turn it off. Then spray in all new Dow Oven Cleaner. And in just five minutes, the heat of your oven and all new Dow Oven Cleaner team up to soften oven grime. You just wipe it away. So get Dow Oven Cleaner in the new red can. It teams up with the heat of your oven. A product of the Dow Chemical Company. There we are. <laughs> I was out visiting. But it is, the pleasure is all mine is the answer. We'll have a different puzzle when we come back. The pleasure is all mine, and we hope to see you when we come back. You down saying so long. Thanks for playing. Concentration. This program was free tape by Brady Speaker. Bye. -bye. There. A Renault. Hey, that's a good prize. Not a match of the gasoline. They go together, but they don't match. Peggy. Sixteen. Sixteen. And? Eight. Eight. That's a match. All right, a thousand gallons of gasoline and a drinking straw on your side of the board. These two puzzle parts in the view, what do you think it says? Still your turn. Two more. Eleven. Can you match the shaver? Two. Two. Not a match. Charles, it's not your turn. Seventeen. And? Fourteen. Fourteen. What's the car? Right here.
you got something to shoot for, plus the championship. Look at these two puzzle parts. Can you now tell us exactly what the puzzle says? Not yet. Still your turn. Two more. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh. Automatic match. What would you like? Five. Five. It matches whatever it is. The costume jewelry. All right. Thank you. That prize in the car and a couple of other good ones in the championship. These two puzzle parts in the view, can you now tell us exactly what the puzzle says? Not yet. Still your turn, though. Two more. Twelve. Twelve. One. Number one will not match. The board comes back, makes it Peggy's turn. Thirty. And one. One. It's the Den Furniture on your side. <laughs> the Den These two puzzle parts in the view, Peggy, for this game, can you tell us what the puzzle says? Down the road a piece. Is right. <laughs> Did you know? There's the last. No. Yes, she is right. Look at the entire board there. It is down the road up bees. Those are bees, up bees. Down the road of bees is the right answer. And she did it. Well, you were very close, and there is a lot of luck in it, but we want to, because nobody ever really loses. We have a home concentration game and American Tourister luggage, and we certainly wish you the best from this point on. Hope you have good luck, uh, Charles. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks for playing concentration. <laughs> Margaret Dean, congratulations to you and your winner and still champion. We'll go to Bob Clayton to find out exactly what you've won. Peggy, here's a prize. It's perfect for your den. An elegant sofa and matching chair with foam-filled cushioning. It's furnished by Berkline, king of comfort chairs of Morristown, Tennessee. And also, credit for 1,000 gallons of Super Shell gasoline. Good mileage gasoline designed by good mileage experts. Super Shell and the clean white pump at Shell stations everywhere. Well, we'll see what happens in the next one, and uh, in a moment we'll meet somebody new for you. Right now we have a brief word, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. This Wednesday on NBC, the Full Color Network. At 7.30, 6.30 Central Time, the Virginian rides into action in 90-minute stories centered around the famous Shiloh Ranch. 